What is up, everybody? Welcome to Sabiahini, Daring Darling. Hope you're excited to get your black mid-range on. I am. Let's go ahead and close the chat out, see who we're playing is. We've got some Brea action. Okay, I can get behind that. Let's go ahead and get Yahini all squared up. There we go. And I'll cover what Yahini does in just a second. So as far as our opening hand goes, we've got Triple Swamp and Mana Vault and Worn Power Stone. I'm okay with this. Nice little, uh, kind of quick little early ramp, and we have a board wipe over there. So, hey, you too, man. You too, buddy. All right, listen, yeah, we're going to keep on this one. I, I do like this hand. Usually what you're looking for with Yahini is just a lot of mana uh, early on, and we have Mana Vault and uh, Worn Power Stone, so that's pretty good. And I'll cover what our commanders do in just a second. All right. Uh, let's see. Make sure, I'm not <laughs> Make sure we didn't click through the turn right there. Uh, let's go ahead and get the Swamp down. Uh, we're going to go for Mana Vault. Now we can use that mana to get down uh, Worn Power Stone and then get down the Swamp next turn. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I like that. Let's go and tap that out, get down the Worn Power Stone. And then we can untap it later on. Or just go for Yahini next turn. But yes, let's start off with Yahini. So Yahini has haste. Uh, whenever a creature in opponent controls dies, put a plus one counter on Yahini. Then sacrifice another creature. Yahini gains indestructible until end of turn. But I think it's Brea. Uh, so whenever she enters the battlefield, uh, create two blue 1-1 one, one, one Thopter tokens uh, with flying. Then for two mana, sacrifice two artifacts. Tar uh, Brea deals... Let's go into F6, Arco. Pona can do his thing, uh, or his or her thing. Uh, Brea deals 3 damage to target player. Target creature gets minus 4, minus 4 until end of turn, and then you gain 5 life. Okay, we got a Seal of Cleansing, destroying target artifact. Okay, fair enough, man. Right, we're not, not going to pay for Mana Vault. We do not have the mana. All right, man, deal your 1 damage to us. Let's get the Swamp down, and then we'll go and pass the turn. Hopefully, if we draw another Swamp, we can get that Mana Vault on tap, but uh, we tried to live the dream. We went for it. We're playing against an all-foiled out Brea, it looks like, so that's always... Uh, Always a little spicy when you see the all-foil deck, the commander deck. You're always like, okay, you know, going to be on our best behavior now. Uh, let's go ahead and get the uh, Swamp down. And then, yeah, let's go for some Yahini. Why not? Get it up and running. Let's go. Come in hot. Get that, uh, like, a 18, 19 turn clock established. I'm going to swing in for two right now. It's going to be two commander damage. If uh, we don't, our opponent doesn't have any removal. Okay, go down to 35. That's two commander damage. And then... Yeah, we'll go and pass turn. All right, now, as far as the rest of our hand, we've got Moonlight Bargain, which I'm really wanting to fire off because um, I just love Moonlight Bargain. Really good commander card. It's cheap. Uh, five mana is not that crazy in commander. Look at the top five cards of your library. For each card, put that card into your graveyard unless you pay two lives. So it's basically just like pay ten life, uh, draw five cards, which um, usually in a deck like this is uh, pretty good. I'll definitely take that. So uh, pretty fun. But yeah, as far as my build of Yahini, it's not really Voltron or anything like that. It's just kind of just mid-range good stuff. Um, I tried to record Yidris earlier, and uh, like I comboed off in like six minutes, and um, I was just having trouble getting a good video. And uh, I know I did Yahini last week, but I was like, hey, I kind of miss Yahini. Let's have some fun. So that's what we got going on. Got some Yahini action. Let's see. Draw Obnixilis. Um, let's go ahead and get the Reliquary Tower down. Let's go and swing it for two more. Nothing we can really do for four. Everything uh, costs five in our hand. So if we don't draw the land, uh, well, we have to do it during our upkeep, but uh, we may go ahead and untap Mana Vault. That way we can at least get down. Um, we can fire off a Moonlight Bargain and then kind of get into our mana base. So I think I'm okay with that, waiting to see what we draw instead. I mean, firing, untapping the Mana Vault instead of waiting to see if we hit our fifth land, because uh, we, do, we do get this Moonlight Bargain up and running. Uh, the Loggy Letter Brea deck just kind of sit back and uh, assemble their contraptions, the, uh, the worse it gets for you. So that's what we're going to go for. Okay, going to pay for that. Yes, we are. One, two, three. Hopefully we still hit the land drop. Okay, untap Mana Vault. Let's see what we hit. Hit another Swamp. Okay. Let's go get the Swamp down. Definitely good to have that. Let's just swing in for two, because it's going to allow us to basically not use the Mana Vault until we absolutely have to need it. Let's go and swing in for two. That's going to be six total commander damage we've dealt. Then, we're going to pass the turn. And actually, excuse me one second. I'm going to mute the mic real quick. Sorry about that. Yeah, I've uh, I've been recording for a little bit right now, and uh, my voice is a little raspy, whatever you want to call it. So a mystical tutor got fired off, I guess, for a mystical tutor. I mean, a mystical teachings was fired off for a, I guess, potentially a mystical tutor. Mind twist. Oof. <laughs> Not looking forward to that. That is, uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, cannot stand mind twist. <laughs> and that's not me being salty. I just if I if I like if somebody gave me a time machine and they said Jolt, you have one you have a time machine, you can go back in time at any time to do anything, uh what would you do? Would you go back and see World Peace? Would you make sure World War Two I would go back in time and stop whoever made Mind Twist. I'd be like, Don't make Mind Twist and then I would also while I was there, because it's probably around the same time, I would find whoever made Winter Orb and I would tell them, Don't do it. <laughs> Magic will be a better game without it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Alright, we get it for 8 commander damage. Yeah, no, I'm not being salty. I, man, I just, uh, I can't stand Mind Twist. It's, uh, you know, some people, you know, you have your taste in music, like maybe some people don't like country, um, some people like rap, some people like pop, some people like rock, um, there's some people that like a little bit of everything. I just, uh, man, just not a huge fan of Mind Twist. <laughs> But that happens. We do have two of the slaughters. So if they do get a creature out there, uh, we do get Umbrea. Uh, we can activate it in response. We can go ahead and fire this call to the uh, call to the slaughter off. So we're going to go ahead and do that, actually. Take care of Brea and get and just have those two thopters up if they want to go for that. Let's go and cast this. Target player sacrifices a creature. Yeah, let's go and get her out of here, man. Mind twisted. Send Brea to the slaughter. Now, they may have a counterspell. They have one card in hand, but if not, at least we'll kind of take care of Brea. And then uh, they'll have some thopters, so we'll kind of see how we want to swing in. Okay, so two mana's being activated. Let's see what's getting uh, fired up right now. They can't. He can't. Our opponent can't activate Brea, uh, deal three damage or anything like that to Yahini. Yahini's just sitting at it too. But we have enough mana to recast Yahini, so we'll be in a good spot. So, but yes, not a fan of Mind Twist. Okay, so they activate on those two artifacts to the slaughter. It's going to hit nothing, and we did have Delirium active, so they did. If they did have a uh, Planeswalker out there, we would have caught that one too. Not going to pay for mana vault. We're good. Let's see. Let's see what we draw. Hopefully some. Some form of card draw. I would really enjoy that. <laughs> Opposite swamp. Uh, let's go ahead and go Yahini. We're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, Brea went back to the command zone. So we're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So they're not going to have enough mana to activate Brea. Uh, so let's go ahead and go Yahini right now. That way, hopefully, we can draw into something that we can either sacrifice or give it indestructible. But with the minus 4 ability, we do have to watch out for that. So I'm not going to swing in just because it's going to be two Thopter blocks and. Uh, we'll lose Yahini. But yeah, so Mind Twist, man. I, I would go back in time. Go back in time and stop Mind Twist, and I'd also stop, uh, why not? If we're going back in time, I'd stop Rest in Peace. I'd like to see that card gone. And especially Scavenging Ooze. I would go back in time and just, I might steal all the copies of Scavenging Ooze. Okay, so we got Trinket Mage getting fired up. I'm gonna search the library for a, uh, an artifact with one or less. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same way about Mind Twist as I do in, like, just, like, aggressive uh, land destruction and commander, and, uh, man, I'm just not a huge fan of it. I don't know. I like slinging some spells, and that's just, like, the, the, I guess, maybe the, the Johnny or the Timmy in me. It's just kind of, uh, I don't know, man. I play, you know, you randomly, you just run into these random land destruction commander decks that are just, like, boom, 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 and I'm just, like, how's, <laughs> I just, I guess I don't see the fun in it. That, that's where, because I get so much fun out of Commander from just like, uh, okay, we get Reanimate. Let's kind of re-rack on this one if we want to do something with that. They got one card in hand. Um, we do have to watch out that. If we go Obnixilus, it's minus four, because we have to watch out for Brea's minus four ability. Uh, they have no creature cards in the graveyard. Obnixilus is going to die to an activation off those Thopters over there. Whispering One's going to be a 6-6. Six, six. They're going to have to activate Brea twice to get rid of that. Um, I think at this point it's better than nothing. So let's go ahead and reanimate on uh, the Whispering One. Maybe we can whisper our opponent into sacrificing some stuff. They're going to have to sacrifice a creature at the beginning of their upkeep, so that'll take care of probably the Trinket Mage, and it's going to take two Thopter activations from Brea to take care of the Whispering One. So, All right, so we're going to sacrifice a creature, and we're still going to get a plus one counter on Yahini from that. So it's actually not that bad of a draw getting the uh, getting the reanimate, but uh, something like Frexian Arena would be really nice. Kind of get the card draw up and running. Oh, but yeah, Land Destruction. So every time i played against a really finely tuned Land Destruction deck in Commander, it's just like... You know, obviously their their goal is to blow your lands up and to keep you from playing Magic, and it's just always made me laugh that, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, it's just kind of, it just makes me laugh when people throw together like a pure land destruction deck, I don't know, it's just, <laughs> it's got me tickled about it now, I mean, because you're just not really playing Magic, you're just blowing lands up. You know, I can understand if you're running like a White Weenies deck, um, you know, with Armageddon or something like that, you know, that makes sense, but like, I've just played against some gnarly red-green land destruction decks where I'm just like... Man, dude, <laughs> are you letting out some like some steam or something that's like much needed? Is this your outlet for? <laughs> and it's like you know I don't get mad, I don't scoop against land destruction, but it's just one of those that just I don't know. I get tickled by it. I could just like because I play online a lot, so I don't get to see my opponent's face, and so I feel like online is a really good place to play land destruction because <laughs> nobody wants to play land destruction. Um... <laughs> Okay, Whispering One gets fired off in Yahini. Uh, I'll, I'll kind of cover that point here in a second, but I'm probably going to have to post this video up just because uh, I'm having fun with this commentary. Cause I, I know where I'm going with the land destruction deck. I know where I'm going now. Gain control of target creature. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and sacrifice in response to that. Nope. Okay. 
not going to go for that. But uh, yeah, so you can play land destruction on online because you don't have to see your opponent's face. And I think that's what makes land destruction okay online is you just don't see the, like, <laughs> the hopelessness of your opponent. Uh, <laughs> All right, not going to pay for Mana Vault. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we draw. We draw Grim Tutor. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Our opponent's got one card in hand. Uh, what is something that kind of gets us out of this? Uh, right now, if we swing in with Yahini, that's going to be 5-5. Five, five. They're going to have to block with Trinket Mage and Brea because they're just going to lose on that. Do we want to make that trade? Just get to get him two more artifacts. Um, let's go ahead and go for Grim Tutor right now. I think I like that. So it's going to go under our hand. We do have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, we have 6 mana to kind of play around with. What do we want to go for? No, we do have. I'm looking for some like mass card draw, just kind of back uh, to kind of get back on track from the uh, that mind twist we got hit was so ugly. Um, where are we? Where am I seeing? There's something I saw. Necrologia, draw X cards, pay X life, draw X cards only during our end step. So we're looking at four coming across. Let's say we draw seven cards. We go to 23. Minus four, that's 19. Uh, 17 with Trinket Mage coming in. Uh, three damage. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. We need to get some card drop and running, so let's go and get this. Go yeah, let's grab that. It's going to go into our hand. We're going to cast it during our instep, and we're going to go ahead and pay seven life. We just need to get a fresh grip, to be honest. And we're going to gonna go ahead and leave Yahini up. So let's go and cast this. Necrologia. Okay, one, two, three. And then let's go ahead and... Well, if we get some type of board wipe, okay, let's let's assume we get a board wipe in here, which we're going to be aggressive. So we're looking at five coming across seven. That's going to drop us down to twenty. Uh, Brea activation for another artifact, uh, seventeen. Yeah, I'm gonna let's go ten. Puts it down to seventeen. Yeah, I'm okay with ten. Let's do ten. I'm gonna pay ten life. I'm going to be aggressive. We need to get out of this. We need to be aggressive, and we have it in here to draw some cards. Okay, not exactly. What, toxic Deluge. Okay, it's going to be a little rough, but we can fire that off. Okay, what are we going to chunk? Uh, let's go ahead and chunk. Do we need... Oh, actually, excuse me. We have Reliquary Tire. Completely forgot about that. Sorry, I get wrapped up in commentary, and I just lose track of the board state. So, okay, we're in a pretty good spot. So let's go ahead and get this uh, hand kind of uh, sorted up. And uh, I was just having a good time talking about land destruction, man. I like doing commentary on here. That, that's definitely something. Uh, you enjoy watching my videos. Uh, I enjoy giving commentary, giving good commentary. So that's why I kind of have fun with that. Okay. Yogsmoth will. Uh, oh, man. For real? <laughs> Did that just happen? <laughs> oh, man. So we got Yogsmoth will. There's, let's see, what's in the graveyard? Oh, man, that is just brutal. There's Mind Twist we're looking at. Mind Twist for what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, they can Mind Twist for up to like 6, I think. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So let's let's wait and see what our opponent's going to go for. If they gain control of Yahini, so be it. Uh, but we'll kind of just be aggressive with this uh, Toxic Deluge or something. But uh, yeah, Land Destruction. So it makes me laugh. Um... <laughs> Just you see more land destruction because you don't see the hopelessness look on your opponent's face as you just blow everything up. Like um, it's kind of like playing Nekasaur. Like I don't mind playing Nekasaur online. I love playing Nekasaur. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's just one of those decks in Magic where you don't you don't see the look on your opponent's face. I played Nekasaur against one of my commander buddies one time, and we play a lot of dual commander. I mean, not like official dual commander, but um, we play commander and. Um, <laughs> Just the look on his face as we're shuffling, shuffling. Oh, winter orb. Oh, this. Okay, that's it. I'm done, man. <laughs> Tap out. I can't stand winter orb. Okay, untap one land, you peasant. <laughs> Not gonna pay for mana all. We don't have the mana. Okay, let's see. Uh, mind twist and mana orb. I mean, in winter orb. Let's go to get the swamp down. Uh, I guess we're just gonna go for a toxic deluge. Um, we're gonna have to pay four life. And we'll, yeah, I guess so. It's better than nothing. Um, let's go ahead and we're gonna go for four. That's gonna clear everything out. It's gonna put us down to eleven. They can recast it, but uh, <laughs> now we're gonna be stuck in this winter orb lock. But. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, man. I don't even know where I was going. I, yeah, I just like my distaste for my twist and winter orb were just so. Oh, Nekasaur. Yeah, so my opponent, uh, my buddy was. Um... Oh, man. Not going to pay for Mana Vault. Nope. We're going to slowly die to a Mana Vault trigger. Um... Yes, yes, we know Mana Vault. <laughs> Mana Vault screaming at us, you should have. <laughs> you should have untapped me. I'm going to hit you in the head for one now. 
<laughs> but yeah, so basically the look on my, my buddy's face is we just got the Nekasaur triggers on the stack, Liliana's caress, firing off a wheel deal. I mean, just, uh, it may be not, I felt magic embarrassed. Like, I'm like, I'm sorry, dude, let, let's change decks. And uh, it's not that he's a baby or anything. It was just like, ne Nekasaur's kind of a crazy deck to play against, especially in paper. Okay, not going to pay for Mana Vault. Uh, let's go and get the Swamp down. We get the Unhollowed. Okay, so we go to nine. Eventually, we're going to have to get that uh, that Mana Vault untapped. <sighs> Do we want to tap out? Alright, so we're looking at three. Exile a Swamp. That's going to be four. Do we get ahead that way by exiling one of our lands? Well, kind of, yeah, so we play another land. We'll have one land untapped. That's going to be four mana. Then be six. Yeah, each Swamp we make, it's going to be another land. Um... I think, yeah, gonna, if we're going to have an out, we're going to try and play to our outs right now. Uh, get down this extra planar lens, exiling one of our tap swamps, and just kind of go from there. Untap the swamp. I mean, exile that swamp. <laughs> I wish we had untapped it. Yes, we're going to use that ability. Okay, so now basically all of our sw swamps are going to tap for two now. If we draw onto something that's going to allow us to close out the game, then hopefully we can go for that. Uh, but uh, it's looking a little slim pickings. But, uh, but yeah, so just kind of be careful with the deck that you play with. It's just, um, I play so much Magic Online... And then, like, little stuff like playing Nexor against my buddy, I never realized that it could be a pain for somebody to play against. You know, I had people scoop against me sometimes, but, uh, but yeah, it's just kind of funny, man. <laughs> it's one of those times where you sit back as a magic person and, like, just look at the human element. You look at the human element of magic. And that's true for, like, like for a Friday Night Magic or a Grand Prix or something. Just stop for a second. Like, if you go to one of those, just stop and look at all the different people that are around there. I mean, it's just so many unique and diverse people that play magic. And uh, it's just cool to kind of sit back and see those different people. So, pretty fun. Okay, let's see what we draw. We're going to be able to make at least uh, two more swamps. So it's going to be six mana. My thinking on this is untap one land. We're going to tap untap one swamp. One swamp. And now we're okay. Let's get the swamp down. Deal one damage. Okay, let's get this, and then anything else we want to do. No, we're just kind of just, I, I'm not sure exactly what our outs on this are, but we're just going to keep making the land, uh, the swamp land drops for the turn, and then hopefully we can get something kind of up and running. Let's get Yahini up so we don't forget about her, him or her. Let's get this closed out too. Actually, excuse me, I'm going to take a drink of tea real quick. One sec. But yeah, so videos like these, like, I have fun giving good commentary videos, so like, um, like, I like posting this up, like, maybe the action's not too crazy, we got Mind Twisted pretty ugly, we have a Winter Orb right now, so there's not a lot of Magic gameplay going on, uh, but, uh, I like talking, man. Untap one land, I just can't hit, get that peasant noise out of my head. <laughs> okay, like Winter Orbs, that bear's just, like, tapping his paw on us. Okay, we draw Erebos, God of the Dead. Okay, we're down to seven. Let's go to get this swamp down. <sighs> Opponent's got one card in hand. So if we go the Unhollow, that's a 5-5. Five, five. We're looking at three turns. I think. Maybe that's our closest out on that. Um, that we potentially get into a spot where we can make another land drop for the turn. That's going to be four mana. We can get down Erebos, get Devotion. Yeah, let's go ahead and go the Unhollowed. So we're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Get down the Unhollowed, and then we can go and go for Erebos. We're going to be able to untap one land, get down a Swamp, then we can go Toshiro, uh, Toshi, Toshiro and then have Devotion online for Erebos. So that'll be 10 coming across. I mean, you know, unless they have a counter spell or something in their hand, but we'll go and get down the Unhollowed. And let's go and go for some Erebos action. So we're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, let's go and go for that. I'm okay with that. And then we can make the Swamp, untap, get down Toshiro, have Devotion online, and then hopefully... If they don't have another source of removal, then we might be able to close it out. But if they're tapping for something right now... Well, what what just happened? Did I miss something? Why is the unhollowed over there? Viden Vendelian shackles. Okay, yeah, I forgot about that over there. Been wrapped up in commentary, but to be honest, <laughs> we really don't have much of an out over there. So it's just kind of whatever they get down, they're gonna grab anyway. If we draw like a board wipe or something, we might be able to fire that off. But yeah, it gets winter orb. Yeah, I forgot about shackles over there, but. <laughs> There's really not much we can do in this case. We've got uh, Mana Vault kind of tapping away at us. All right. Swing in for five. We've got that Mana Vault trigger coming in to deal one damage to us. And let's see what they're casting right now. 
Yeah, I forgot about the shackles, but now that I think about it, we get down uh, the unhollow, there's not really much else we can do. Like, the only thing we potentially could have done is get down Erebos first and then get Devotion, but they're still going to be able to gain control either way we do it, and they're still bu building up enough mana with Mana Crypt and, uh, like, Grim Monolith and uh, Chromatic, Chromatic Lantern to uh, get that up and running. And then we get Bray it out for three damage. Yeah, I'm going to go and post this video up. Uh, that was a good little commentary view. I always like to get, like, I always want to leave away with a win walk away with a win for y'all, uh, but when you run into a uh, Mind Twist pretty ugly and then you get a Winter Orb to kind of do some cleanup duty with that little that little bear, Polar Bear allowing us to untap one land each turn. So grateful. Thank you, man. Thank you, Polar Bear. But yeah, it's fun doing little commentary videos like this from time to time. So, alright guys, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. Thanks.